Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody, on this Tuesday morning. Today is the 13th day of December. Yesterday, I got a day ahead of myself here. Uh, there is rain falling on my head right now. It is light rain, but we've had uh, rain that was a little heavier in the overnight hours here in East Montgomery, where I've had about a third of an inch of rain. On this video this morning, I'll talk about more much-needed rain on our weather menu today. And uh, yes, it's mild this morning. We're in the low 60s, but don't put away the coach yet. Another sharp change to much colder is on the way. Another storm system this weekend, which could affect, I have realized, a lot of plans too. Plus, we'll look at Christmas week and beyond. Are you ready? This is your morning weather briefing. It starts now. There's the setup today. Low pressure will move along that frontal system, bringing another surge of moisture into Alabama. And uh, as I make this in the middle of the night, here's the early morning radar, and you can see some concentrated rain, even some heavier downpours, east central and southeast Alabama. And that's the way it's going to be during the day today. In fact, I'll show you some samples of future radar. Here's future radar at noon, showing a nice little band of showers and storms from about Lake Martin and Montgomery on southward. And some heavier rain coming out of Mississippi, which will move into Alabama as we get into the afternoon hours. So there'll be some thunder from time to time as well and some heavy downpours. And then by 6 o'clock, some of the heavier uh, precipitation moves into the south and southeast counties, according to future radar. And at midnight, some scattered showers are still around. And I think we'll start the day on Wednesday with a few showers too. So scattered showers and thunderstorms from time to time. Very spring-like, high around 70 tonight, slow 53. Southwest winds at 6 to 12 miles per hour today. Rainfall not too heavy, but we'll show you the rainfall in a second. Maybe some leftover showers first thing tomorrow morning, but I think we dry out and become partly sunny by tomorrow afternoon. And the additional rainfall could be uh, close to an inch here in central Alabama. A little heavier, maybe an inch and a half across the extreme southern counties, and a little bit less as you go from Lake Martin north northward. Breezy and cold on Thursday. I've got us at 50. Some of the models don't even get us to 50 on Thursday. We're down to about 30 on Friday morning, maybe a couple of uh, upper 20s somewhere. Cool sunshine during the day Friday with a high around 54. And then Saturday, spotty showers around, but the main show is still northwest of us. Can't rule out a shower on Saturday. So for the Camellia Bowl, I've got the rain chances at you know, 20% at 2.30 for tailgating, 30% at game time and uh, by halftime. And then by the end of the game, maybe up to about 40% chance. Temperatures very mild in the 60s. You can't beat that. Sunday morning, the main show, showers and thunderstorms across the area. Rainfall, um, you know, looks decent with this. We'll uh, focus on that as we get closer. Maybe a couple of stronger storms. So uh, 62 tomorrow, only 50 on Thursday. There's that freezing Friday morning at 30 and then upper 60s on Saturday, and then Sunday, a good chance of showers and thunderstorms as we were into the mid-60s. The European out 10 days shows the current rainfall that we have through Wednesday morning. It shows the rain over the weekend and into the early part of next week. So it'll be, and look at the temperature graph. Wow, it's just crazy. I mean, it's up and down. It's like a roller coaster with the coolest day on Thursday, the coolest morning on Friday. Then we zoom back up over the weekend, and then we fall back down. Uh, after that front in the early part of next week. Uh, so between now and Christmas, strap yourself in. It's going to be very active. This is the American model, the GFS, again, showing a warm day today, the uh, cold Friday morning, a warm weekend before it uh, cools down quite a bit again next week. And on Christmas, it has us at 64. Don't take the number literally, but we should be near normal. Download our new weather app. Stay on top of all these weather changes. And boy, there's going to be a whole bunch of them. And uh, it's a free app. And it's got everything you need. So it's like one-stop shopping for all the weather information you need. You don't need four weather apps anymore. Uh, go to the uh, App Store and search Rich Thomas Weather Network and pass the word to your friends. Hey, so Bailey, uh, it looks like uh, we're going to have to be walking in the rain here in a little while. Hopefully it won't get any heavier than this. I think we could probably handle this. Have a great day today. Another live update at 11 o'clock this morning from the Blue Water Weather Center. Live on the radio, 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 and on Bama Country. And your forecast across the dial on eight radio stations anytime you want it. We're everywhere. We're on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, the radio, everywhere. And, and most importantly, on your app, right in the palm of your hand. Have a great day. Another video tomorrow morning at 5. Rich Thomas Weather.